For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Hello, and welcome back to Sex, Love, and Self. I am so excited to be starting a new year with all of you for so many reasons. It feels like for years we've been saying next year has to be better. And this year I really am believing it. There's something about a new year that's so exciting in and of itself. There's this sort of fresh start feeling. There's change in the air, potential for change in the air. In the States where I'm from, in in the Northern Hemisphere, spring is right around the corner. It's just this wonderful, hopeful moment in our lives, in time. And I love it for that reason. But this year, more than anything else, I think I'm so excited because I keep getting all of these wonderful messages of positive foreboding from the astrology and from the numerology and from the tarot and from other healers that are sort of lined up with me in in terms of the way that we think about and, and look at the world. And a big part of it has to do with astrology because of the way that we see the planets moving. It looks like at the very least, there's going to be a lot of change. And I'm so excited about that. I think that's something that is absolutely essential that we've needed for a really long time, individually, but collectively even, perhaps more so collectively. And the thing is, when I was talking to a friend of mine about this not so long ago, for her, believing in all that kind of stuff is a little nuts. It's a little crazy. And I completely understand, of course. Like, how in the world can what's happening with the planets and the stars way out there in space have any impact at all on what's happening on Earth, particularly in our daily lives? How can the tarot possibly show us what's going on in ourselves, in our lives, even in the future? How can making minor energy shifts in our realities, in our day-to-day lives, have an impact on the way that we live our lives, on the things that happen to us in our lives? And the thing is, I totally get it. Despite my propensity to love all things that look and feel like they might even kind of be magical, which for me is everything, I've, I've doubted all of this too. The thing is, magic is around us all the time. Like, think about the fact that plants make food from sunlight and water, and then we eat those plants and the animals that eat those plants. And that gives us life. We are literally consuming life energy from the sun through other creatures. To me, that feels pretty magical. And it's actually a really good representation of the way the energy works in our lives because the more that I understand about energy, like scientifically speaking, I mean, the more I can see how and why these different, I don't know, divination tools, if we want to call them that, work. And it's because it's energy. And it makes sense to me. It makes sense to me that tools that have been used for centuries by ancient peoples to connect deeper with themselves, to connect with God forces, to connect with each other, to connect with ancient wisdom, all of that is tied up in things like astrology and the tarot and numerology because they read energy. Ancient peoples were perhaps more connected to the idea of energy because they didn't have the sort of, I'm going to say, corruption of science. And I don't mean that science is corrupt by any means. Just that as we begin to sort of lean on science to help us understand things, I feel like we kind of drifted away from the magic that is life, you know? Astrology has been around as long as it has because people living in their individual realities knew there was more. Perhaps it's hard for us to kind of see or believe in the energy version of this, because we are physical beings living in this world and our experience here is so tied into the 3D, into the idea that time is linear, into the physical manifestations of energy in our daily lives, in ourselves, in our realities, in the realities of our friends and family. 
we can't see energy. So it makes it perhaps harder to, to kind of believe in, to really invest ourselves in the reality of its impact on our lives. But we know that it's there. And in fact, quantum physics, science in general, is showing us more and more the impact of energy, the reality of the energy, and the way that it interacts with us and in our lives. But on a more microscopic level, I have committed to my belief system in energy for myriad reasons. And among them is because I see it working. It, it works. The shit works. For example, I use an app called Chani to connect to the astrology because astrology is a beautiful science, but it's also very complicated, very involved. And this woman is incredibly talented at it. Not only that, I love her business, the way she runs her business. It's really cool. I'm not going to get into all the details here, but if you're interested, look it up. She's an incredible human. It's fascinating stuff. Anyway, the point is I've been using her app for about a year to get insight on the astrology that's happening in my personal life, in my, in my birth chart, the way that I, my physical body is interacting with the planets. And I am still shocked on a regular basis by how often her predictions manifest. For instance, not so long ago, the Chani app predicted that I would go on a trip, but that wouldn't really go anywhere. Like it wouldn't really do anything for me just yet, but rather down the road, I would get something out of it. And I had a trip planned, actually. So my my buddy and I, my, my traveling partner and I, set off on Thursday, which I believe was the day that she had predicted this was going, going to go down. And we got to the edge of Bogota, and they had shut the roads down. Because apparently in Bogota, right after Christmas, they closed the exit points of the city for four hours to let traffic in all the people that are coming back from their Christmas vacation. And I mean, there are so many. So they closed the road for four hours, let people come in for four hours, and then they opened the road for two hours and let people go out. So we got stuck in this huge line. We showed up right after the closure, finally decided to just come back to the apartment, get up really early in the morning and try to hit that two hour window on our way back out, which we did. And then we drove in what was essentially a hundred mile traffic jam all the way to this other town where we were going. We were going to this little town for him to work. And when we got there, the job fell through. The first job fell through. And then the next day, the second job fell through. And it was fine. We had a wonderful time. We spent our time together in the most beautiful way. It was an absolutely delightful experience, the whole trip outside of the travel itself. And then we encountered the same thing on the way back, that whole road closure thing. It was insane, but it was definitely a trip that didn't really go anywhere. We had plans to go make money in this place and it just didn't work out. And like two weeks before that, she had predicted there would be this day that was just full of love and affection. And absolutely it was. Weeks before that, there was a prediction that there would be a day when there would be a deep insight. And I got a call from somebody that gave me some information that I had needed for a really long time, but hadn't had access to. These are just a few of the myriad examples of how this astrology plays out in my life. And you could say that I manifested those things because I knew about them ahead of time. And I, I wouldn't deny that. Of course, that's possible. The thing is, they don't manifest the way I expect them to. When I listen to the app, I have an idea of the context in which that, that, that particular astrology is going to show up in my life. And I'm almost always wrong. And the other thing is, I found that her predictions are accurate with the, you know, relatively the same frequency when I don't listen to the readings at the beginning of the week, but rather at the end after everything's already happened. And it really is fascinating. And I'm not trying to push you guys toward this. Although I will say I am an affiliate for her because I do believe so profoundly in the astrology and the way that it impacts us. So if you want to get access to your own astrological insights, if you want to use that Chani app, I would love it if you would do it through my link, my affiliate link. You won't pay more, but I'll get a little extra boost. That link is bit.ly forward slash 47YSNLT. The same thing has been true with tarot. Over and over and over again, I am shocked at how accurate the readings are. There's such deep information in each one. I've done readings about trips in which it said the trip itself would be good, but there would be problems. 
in the um, communication between the person that I was traveling with and myself, which absolutely happened. I've had situations in which I did readings and it was very clear to me that the experience was going to be delayed in some way and it absolutely was. There's just so many ways that the tarot too has shown to be true in my life. And it's not always accurate, of course, but it is a lot of the time, like 85, 90% at least for me. And particularly in the context of the tarot, a friend of mine was asking me about how that could possibly work, like how we could possibly get information from the tarot about the future. And so I wanted to touch on that a little bit here too. And the way I explained it to her had a lot to do with this idea of energy. First of all, science has recently discovered that a, a particle can be in two places at the same time. And it has this weird reaction of, of existing in that way only when we're looking at it or when we're not looking at it more accurately which I find fascinating. This is, I think, quantum physics. And of course, I don't understand any of this. So if you want to do your own research, you are more than welcome. Please do. But that's the imagery that comes to mind when I think about how the tarot works, because I believe that there is an element of our soul self that still exists in that pure energy space outside of us, whether that's space the way that we understand it, or whether that's some other version of heaven or hell or whatever. There's a part of us that exists still in that cloud, so to speak, of perfect God force energy. And that part of us already knows everything, has experienced everything that we are going to experience, that we could experience in any version of ourselves at any point in time and space. And I believe we can connect with that energy force that's out there and channel her, it, him, whatever, into our own realities and use that energy to attract to us the symbolism that will guide us forward. And that I believe is why the tarot has the power that it does. And that's why I believe that readers, tarot readers, are such important parts of the process. People that are really dialed in and deeply connected with that energy are going to get clear answers. That is what I believe the tarot can do for us. And that's why I believe it works. And like I said, of course it isn't always accurate. I think it depends a lot on the tarot card reader, the way that they are connected, and the listener, the way that their energy is affected. But the point is, for a lot of us, for a lot of people, these things, these mediums of communication with higher self, with spirit self, with deeper self, God self, however you wanna look at it, work. And for a lot of people, these are ancient traditions that have been carried forward through time because they work. For me, all of those things are absolutely true. And because of that, I believe in energy. I know that we can feel things. You know when something doesn't feel right. You know when a person doesn't feel right. And the coolest thing about the energy is that we can change it. In social settings, when we're uncomfortable, we can change our energy. In competitive settings, in office settings, whatever. Being aware of our energy, we can make adjustments to it to create different realities, of course. So I'm gonna share with you a quick little example. I was playing cards with some friends of mine and one of the players that was not a particularly good friend of mine had a very aggressive kind of I want to take you down, I want to see you lose sort of attitude and energy for me. And it was working, like I was seeing in, I was feeling it in my body, but I was also seeing it in the cards, like I was losing badly. And the point wasn't about winning, but I did want to protect my energy. And so I worked with, just in that instant, some visualization and symbolism of creating, expanding my energy in protection of myself, not in aggression toward the other player. And you guys, it worked. In the the seconds that happened between my turn and that player's that who was next in the rotation, the whole thing shifted and I won the next like four hands. And like I said, the point of that is not about defeating somebody else. The point is changing my energy affected change instantly. 
When I was a lot younger and just learning about energy, I went to a basketball tournament with my boyfriend at the time. And after like two days of six, eight hours straight of basketball games, I was bored out of my mind. So I set up a vortex in the basketball hoop, in the basketball net for the team that was losing because we'd been sitting there for 30 some minutes and they hadn't made a single shot. And for the next like five minutes, they made shot after shot after shot. And I, I broke the thing down. I became aware that I was probably impacting the outcome of that and I didn't want to. I didn't mean to have that, that impact. But it was another situation in which I felt I could see the manifestation of the way that energy worked in the physical world and my control over it. And I don't mean my as in I'm special. I mean all of us have this. We all have this innate powerful ability to adjust and control our energy, which of course is the crux of my work and why I want to share everything I've learned with all of you. Why I want to step into the role of cheerleader or teacher or support system or whatever. As we all learn to own our power, to be able to create lives of peace and joy and abundance, to work together for a better world in which we, the individuals, hold the most power. Okay, I'm gonna get off the soapbox. My point is, energy is a thing. I believe fiercely in it. I believe in our ability to manipulate it. And I wanna help anybody that wants to do that, as I mentioned in the Squirrel Dreams podcast. So, if you wanna explore these things in your own life, head on over to the website, authorjacquelinelanae.com. That's J-A-C-L-Y-N-L-A-N-A-E. And there you'll get information on the workshops if you're interested, on coaching sessions if you're interested, tarot card readings. There's all kinds of resources there. And if you'd want to explore another way to work together, just hit me up. Send me a message. I would love to work together in any way that could be of service to you. Also, if you liked this podcast, please remember to subscribe and consider joining us on Patreon where you can support the podcast, but also get access to the deeper details and insights of how I work with energy. For instance, this week, I'm going to be sharing some of the ways that I work with my energy in an effort to adjust it and the ways that I use my physical body to help myself when I'm struggling to make a decision, for instance, or when I want to know how I really feel about something and I can't quite stop mentalizing it and I need to feel it, I have these little tricks that I use and that's the kind of stuff that I share over on Patreon. So if you're interested, head over there and subscribe. And again, if you'd like to subscribe to the Chani app and get your own insights on your astrology, it would help me out a bunch if you did it through my affiliate link, which is bit.ly forward slash four seven Y-S-N-L-T. Okay, y'all. Have a great week. Thanks for listening. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile, and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time, there's Granger, offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done.